We are in the Tesla Model S Plaid with the new touchscreen infotainment system. So let's take a look around and see what we get with this nice high res screen. So immediately off the bat, you're met with the map and navigation system as the main background for you. You also have a row of customizable controls down here. So these are all shortcuts that you can uh, move around. You can choose from this list, move them in and out of the bottom, however you please. Uh, your shortcut to the climate is right here. So that gets you to all your main controls, adjust the fan, temp, uh, and your various dog and camp modes. Uh, now all of the car controls are hidden within this little car logo right here. So you can either tap that button or swipe on in from the side. Uh, it's very quick and responsive to everything I do. Uh, here's where you can get to some vital car controls. You can open the frunk from here, change the steering wheel position, mirrors, and so on. This is even where you open the glove box from because there's no button to press. Uh, here's where you get into the drive modes though. So pedals and steering, plaid mode of course is where you're going to get the most power. There's a drag strip mode where it goes into the cheetah launch uh, and just a whole lot of other things. This is where track mode is if you are going to be doing some, some track work with the Model S plaid. Suspension, uh, if you look in here there's a whole lot of suspension data that it will give you. Uh, this is frankly more than most cars out there. Uh, you have some pretty cool ride height settings. You can do some minute adjustment of the dampers in here as well. Uh, there's really a whole lot uh, in here with the drive modes that you can look at and, and also customize. Charging wise, uh, obviously this is where you can see how much battery charge you have left. Uh, and then as you scroll down here, other highlights, autopilot, this is where you can go through a whole lot of the different settings. Uh, autopilot has a ton of settings that you can go through um, and really, really customize it to however you want it to be. Um, Beyond that, uh, you can see a few of the, the, the various highlights, such as uh, all of these games you have in the arcade, you can play there. You can also uh, watch a lot of fun stuff. So bring up the theater, Netflix, Hulu, YouTube. Uh, it's all really great stuff that you can do while charging. Uh, I really dig the fact that you have this massive screen that you can check out and uh, watch whatever you want. It's a good, good thing to use to kill some time. Uh, and then into the actual navigation system itself, uh, this is obviously where Tesla rules above pretty much everybody at this point is the charging, uh, you know, the way they integrate their navigation system with the chargers. So you can just set a destination, it'll automatically route you via superchargers. You can choose if you want just the fastest, medium speed, or even slower speed chargers to be uh, used in there. Uh, it's really, really great stuff in action, and it works mega quickly. Um, of course, this thing doesn't have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. It's a big minus with the Tesla infotainment system. Uh, instead, you just have Bluetooth, so you can go into uh, the actual Bluetooth audio or make phone calls uh, if you want to do it that way. But no CarPlay, no Android Auto. Uh, overall, though, this infotainment system has been super slick. Um, and I'm very glad that it's augmented with an instrument cluster, uh, unlike the Model 3 and Model Ys.